It's the single life. When you turned around and had your own children and you dispensed advice to them, what were you drawing upon? I had to make it simple for wrestling, she'll tell you, Ariel, is I said to the, all of them, I don't care what you do. You come home, you tell me the truth, and I'm on your side. I don't care if you murdered somebody. Don't, but, uh, you know, <laughs> you know <laughs> that, that would be a real easy way out, but come home. And first thing we do is we hug them and tell them how much we love them. And then let's address the problem. Some <laughs> sage advice dad has given you, whether it was in regards to dating or sustaining a relationship or getting into a relationship or the type of boys to pick or anything of that nature? I'd say his number one advice is probably, please, Ariel, just be a nun. Uh, <laughs> that aside. <laughs> That's not asking much. That's like my it's mother telling me to keep my legs and my mouth seemed, shut. It seemed like it would just cover all the problems <laughs> in one, keep it simple. His main advice, I think, that I've picked up from him is that nobody um, runs your life but you, and you don't need anybody to complete you. you Who's know. the boss you buddy? Me. Yeah, <laughs> oh, my God, Those how kind of cute. And You're life. the boss of your body. Yeah. Yes, you are. Exactly. And he uh, he's actually always been very respectful as well. You know, I've never been afraid to run with him for a boyfriend problem or anything like that. Like, a lot of people think as a wrestler he'd be kind of intimidating, and he's actually someone I can really rely on. And well, honey, what I would do is give him a chokehold. What you do is you grab him around the neck. <laughs> no, Dad. Dad, no. You, look, pay attention. Get a, I no, have honey. That. And then if it's not the, if it's not the Sleeper hold, it's the eye poke. <laughs> I, Ariel throws a heck of a punch. And I oh, did put yeah. I did put a boyfriend in a sleeper hold once. Yeah. I don't think they All thought I really could do it. Come. Last time that you were here, my board op, George Corona, is a humongous Rowdy Roddy Piper fan, A. Bless a huge heart. wrestling fan, B. And his that? secret fantasy has always been to be choked out by you. You're kidding. Okay, so <laughs> when we had our Wait, old show. His other fantasy was to kiss uh, a really pretty girl. So two, okay. two, two, two for one, he kisses your daughter, and you choke him out for a good reason. I mean, that's, oh my God. that's there you go. There's a, you know, <laughs> that's a two for one. You got it in the right order anyway. So <laughs> he begged me to let you do the sleeper hold on him last time. I said no. Cool. I still want to say no. But sure. he won't, he's been pestering me all week long. And I've, and I've yelled at him a couple of times on the show, so I feel bad. <laughs> okay. So gotcha. it's almost like, God, you know, George wants this so bad. It, I would be a terrible, evil boss if I did not let <laughs> him fulfill his dream. All right. But at the same time. <laughs> what a blast. <laughs> at the same time, I'm scared for his life. But uh, I clearly trust you, Rowdy Roddy. You've uh, done this yeah. maneuver how many times? Seriously, I mean, this no, is like your. Seriously, I'm talking like, if I had done it 750, I'd done it a thousand times. Wow. I mean, mm. good lord, in the dojo, and, you know, I choked, and I've been choked out a lot. But it's your signature move, your finishing yeah, signature move. Named, so that's how you like end your matches. A you guy just named, choke them out. Uh, Judo Gene LaBelle, uh, toughest man in the world, trained Bruce Lee's, Chuck Norris. He's still alive. He's 74. Only gave away 23 black belts. He's the godfather of MMA. Anybody around the world will know Judo Gene LaBelle. And since I was about 16, he's been teaching me. And he's the one that taught me this particular one. This is uh, all around. They don't get no better than this. Man. So was, Hulk Hogan, he was your nemesis while you were wrestling? When I got into New York, right. yeah. Like for you folks the last 25 years, I had a lot of problems. You know, I don't, they didn't seem to like me much. <laughs> yeah, you were like the consummate bad guy, but then yeah. you became the fan favorite. You know how that happened real fast, real easy. I was boxing Mr. T in the second WrestleMania in Nassau Coliseum. And just from the back row, they started chanting my name. Wow. I didn't ask him to. Oh my lord. Ah! <laughs> yes. Uh, hey, Hogan, I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? I saw you in Rolling Stone. Of course, my wife, a 21 year old. I'm doing yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> I hear uh, you lost a car or two in a house. <laughs> yeah, but nothing. Yeah. Uh, I can't get back from Linda. <laughs> I should be okay. <laughs> so, Georgia, uh, uh, the boss part of me wants to say absolutely no, because I don't want anything to happen to you. Are you sure that this is what you want to do? Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> He's Latino. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> man, see? I love it. I got you, champ. Let's do it, man. Yes, right, so I, I am you want to rock and roll sure with it? That I want to do this. This has been your lifelong dream. Yes, growing up, I watched uh, you wrestle. Uh, I've seen him, so. 
Oh my God, you're taking off your outfit, Georgie? Yeah, make sure he cuts the blood off right. Oh my God. <laughs> Rowdy Roddy is very kind because after he does a sleeper hold on you, he'll hold you until you come back yeah. to consciousness. And, and, and when you yeah. and when you wake up, you'll you'll magically have a condom in your pocket. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> he is a father too, you know. <laughs> oh God, Rowdy Roddy's taking off rings. Oh my Hall of Fame ring. So Rowdy Roddy, walk us through this. What are you what are you doing to him? Well, you know, there's all kinds of there's all kinds of uh, sleeper holds. Um, uh, Judah Jean Lavelle, again being the most uh, impossible in the world, uh, has taught me one that uh, when you got a nice guy like this, you don't have to. Can't you do that spot? Don't have to hurt. Sleeper hold. That'd be much easier. With this in the eyes. No, first? the one the neck. <laughs> the one the doctor spot. Yeah, that'd be much easier. Live, live, live long and <laughs> go to sleep. You ready? Oh uh, my God! You ready, Georgie? <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! He's sleeper holding him. Oh my God! He just collapsed. George is on the floor, and Rowdy Roddy is um, patting his head, holding him. And George is coming back. George is coming back. His eyes are blinking. How you doing, Georgie? You okay, Georgie? I feel so good. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Now can he kiss your daughter? Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God, Rowdy Roddy's picking George up. Oh, Georgie, oh, how do you feel? Oh, Georgie, oh, tell oh, us. Oh, oh, to do that. Is he gonna have a headache God, or oh, anything? Oh, nothing, nothing. Oh. No, no. <laughs> Georgie, tell us what you're feeling right now, buddy. I'm feeling well rested. We are ah so thrilled that we had you guys on the show. Thank you Thank so you. much. I love Roddy, you to you death. You come back anytime. Mwah. Every time. Yes. <laughs> I really Roddy. enjoyed it. Oh, no, I enjoyed having you. It was great. You're a legend. So it's awesome.